Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. So over the next few days, I'm going to release um, different money-making gods for Shoreline, Interchange and Labs. I've been doing a lot of testing over the last few days and I, I feel like I've come down to a really good run where you guys can make some serious profit with minimal risk. Now some of these gods are also going to require um, certain keys and I'll make sure those keys are located at the top with the current price value on the flea market so then that way uh, you can work out how much it's going to cost you but don't worry you don't have to get all these keys straight away because the loot runs themselves will actually make you money and you won't have to worry too much about getting those keys uh, straight away but if you can get them it all increases the amount of profit you make per run so guys without further ado let's crack straight into it all right guys so to give you some information about the launcher and how to select servers now the, the main thing you need to know here is majority of people will have this set to default. Now, I'm not entirely sure how server selection works, but in my understanding, if this is set to default, what would happen is it's going to go, all right, so the main server for Sydney is Sydney 1. We'll try and chuck them on Sydney 1. If the servers for are full on Sydney 1, uh, we'll chuck them on Sydney 2. And if the servers are full for Sydney 3, sorry, 2, we'll chuck them on Sydney 3. Now, Sydney 3 is a new Australian server that I only added in a few days ago. I have no idea why my ping is so high at the moment, but it is what it is. But what I need to say here is if I want to play on servers and they're completely full, I'm going to go on Sydney 1. And I'll, that way, I'll just select Sydney 1 and I'll be able to find people for PvP on Factory and all the other maps. If I want to do loot runs, I actually select Sydney 2 or used to be Sydney 2. And I bump into people from time to time, and particularly in quiet times of the day, um, I wouldn't find anyone. Now there's a Sydney 3 server. I believe, and it's, well, obviously the Australian people that see this, they're going to use Sydney 2 and 3 just for their loot runs. But seriously, I don't believe anyone's going to be on this server if they've got auto select on. I don't know how the matchmaking system works, but if Sydney 2 is as dead as it was, Sydney 3 is going to be absolutely, completely dead. Now I could use these Hong Kong and Singapore servers. Uh, the cap is at 150 ping. Uh, but for me, I just, I'll just be able to do loot runs on this server and or Sydney 2 and then do all my PvP action on Sydney 1. Now, if you're on an American server, you're obviously going to have a slightly different um, and you'll have these servers here. Um, and you'll be based off what is your lowest ping. Um, you can, any, any server under 150. Now, if you're in somewhere in America and you can still connect to, to Europe because Europe's under 150 ping as well. Uh, if you know it's like... I don't know, say 2 in the morning or 3 or 4 in the morning in Europe on a weekday, you're probably not going to find anyone on those servers. And if you can actually play around, you might be able to find a server in particular that's dead, like absolutely dead. And it's the same if you're in America and say you, you LA1's always busy. I would actually try going on to say something like uh, Miami 3 because I think like the way this matchmaking system works, Miami 3 will probably be dead and maybe Miami 2 as well. And, um, for example, I know for a fact, uh, when I was playing with some people from America, uh, I know St. Louis is always busy. And you need to take this into account because if you want to just do money farming, you should be trying to pick a server that is completely dead. So then that way, uh, until at least the game gets popular enough that they're all full. For now, this is your best method in trying to get an empty server to be able to do as much looting as possible. Alright, so now that we've got that out of the way, I'm currently on Sydney 3, which is a brand new server for Australia. It actually is lagging a little bit at the moment. Uh, my ping's jumping up to up to 80 and 90, so you might see the yellow ping up the top right. But um, you can use this wherever you are in the world to, to switch servers to try and find one that's a little bit quieter and make your money-making runs a lot better. Now, I don't know why there's three Sydney servers. I'll leave it at that, but um, you pretty much want to come into the resort. If You can do this in reverse. First room you want to check on this side, this is the west side of the resort. This is West 104. Now, you're looking right here for a blue key card. Um, if it's not there, you can grab some stuff on the way through. It's not a big deal, but you don't want to be wasting too much time while you're searching here. Um, you're going straight up to the next floor. Uh, depending on which key you want to use first, 220. And this is a, a gold loot spawn. And um, you want to be doing this as fast as possible. Now, as you can see here, you've got a cat. Chuck that straight in. Keep moving. You don't want to waste too much time here. So you've already made... It sells about, I think they're going for about 55,000, 60,000 rubles right there. You're looking for a red key card right here. No red key card. Don't waste any more time. You want to start moving now. So, um, 
Oh my god. So I failed that jump. Like a baddie. And from here, you go straight down. This is all about speed. Um, you're running with a pistol because you run faster with the pistol. And that gives you the opportunity to get away quicker. So red key card there, not there. Now the red key cards are worth around about 20 to 25 million at the moment. Blue key cards, I can't remember where they're sitting. Um, I'll make sure it would have come up on the screen at that point. From here, you want to go straight across the admin building. Um, there is money to be made without having keys here as well because you can actually find keys. Any keys that you don't have, if you don't want to pay for them, you can farm yourself. Um, some of them aren't worth farming. They're just cheap. And I would highly suggest just buying them. And um, so like the East 310 key, which we'll, when we get up to it, that's that's something you should just buy. Now the uh, the West 218 key spawns right here on that shelf right there. You have a quick look at that one. You're going to come straight through here. There's a key spawn here. I actually do believe it's the West 104 key that spawns right on that chair right there. From there, come straight through here. And this is all about speed. Now a uh, another key spawns right there. You want to check for that one. Pretty sure that's actually the 220 key. Straight through here, drop down, and we're moving over to the next side. Now the key spawns alone will make you bulk cash. Um, I just like getting the gold rooms as well because it's extra money. And personally for me, that's that's like, you know, I want to be making a little bit of money each run, you know. So, okay, the utility key spawns right there. Uh, the 222 or 226 key spawns right there. You want to be checking for those ones. Um, the prices would have been will be coming up where they're sitting about. I think they're in the 300 to 400,000 mark. Straight into this door, you check in here. There's a Sheriff Eli badge. You've just got yourself 50,000 more rubles. You want to go straight up to the top of this. You're in 310 now. This key is super cheap and will make you the big bucks. All right, in here we have a couple of clocks. Um, this is probably where you got to you got to be a little bit smart about how much uh, stuff's worth, um, because it depends on how like uh, the value of the items at the time. Uh, clocks don't really aren't required for much, so actually yeah, they might be worth it for an armor. So anyway, you're coming down this way. You're checking quickly for the red key card right here. You know, if you get one of these three spawns to happen, that just made yourself twenty million, and then. Coming down here, you had East Triple Two, and this is Two Two Six. Either one works. Now, this is really depending on how you like to do it. Um, you quickly grab like an ophthalmoscope here, and this is where better to have that extra um, extra spot. I like taking a dock's case because you got the cash there. Uh, you, at this point, there's a gun spawn there, and, you, and at this point, you can really just loot how you see fit. Um, if if you're going to run out, you might as well grab everything just like this. Um, there's an MP5 spawn on top of here. You can quickly look at that. Try and fill up every little square you can here to get the maximum amount of money. There's a, a suppressor. I like throwing every grenade I find. Um, you're about to probably see one or two grenades. Here we go. And the reason why I throw them is because it levels up your health and also your strength skill. Um, get them out of the way and you're running out. It's a very, very quick run. You don't need to spend much time in the map. You want to be doing this stuff like quick. Get in, get out, make that run nice and quick. Um, we're probably sitting on in there. We've got what? Sheriff Eli badge, 50k. A cat. Uh, we've got ourselves, what, 50k there. A couple of clogs, they're about 40 to 50 a pop. Uh, Ophthalmoscope selling for about 100,000. Gold chains probably in the 20 to the 30 mark. So we made about 300,000 rubles. Now this whole run, I should be in and out in 10 minutes. So minus loading time, you're probably looking at around 12, 12 to 15 minutes of run at worst. If you just dump the stuff in your stash, you get back into another raid. You know, this is without actually finding any of those really expensive items. Like we didn't find any Bitcoins, rollers, all those kind of stuff, which are a, a good money. Any of the key spawns. Now you wish the docks case. You want to have two or three spots free. I'd probably aim to have about five spots if I was to be honest. You can throw any cash in there because that's extra money you can just grab. And also, um, you can chuck in there any keys you find. Um, so then if you do find, say, two keys and a key card or something like that and you're really lucky, you chuck them straight in there. You've still got the rest of the gamut to fill up. Uh, this is a little bit more painful if you don't have a gamut container. Um, 
if you can get yourself an epsilon container or a beta container that will help um, you can find them on uh, different trade servers on discord but overall this is the way on shoreline i would make money now um, i'll chuck the link down in the description below if you want to actually get the keys yourself from farming um, the, the old key guide i've got is still up to date all those keys are still entirely up to date so um, you can farm all the keys yourself or you can use the flea market to buy them personally i would just buy them off the flea market i wouldn't waste my time but look at that we're at nine minutes and we're out of the raid and i spawned on the very other far side right by the uh the houses and i just ran the so nine minutes in and out you don't have to mess about too long in the in the uh the stash bit I'll quickly uh, show over everything that I got. It might be a run through. I don't know. We'll have to see. It's better if you don't get run throughs because then you can actually make um, a little bit of XP. But if it's really just for the money, you can do it that way. If you really just want to go straight for those gold loot spawns, you can save, save yourself probably about two minutes of run. Seeing how I ran out, it took me about two minutes to get that uh, to run out. Personally, I like to take a backpack so that way I can chuck in some extra stuff. Uh, so there's the extra money there. But if you didn't want to worry about that and you just wanted to disconnect um, after the key spawns and the gold spawns, you know, you could make some money that way anyway. I probably made about 300,000 rubles in 10 minutes then. You could do six of them a run. So you're sitting on about 2 million rubles an hour. Now, like like I said, the, um, you do need some keys for this run. So there will be an initial um, cost involved in that. But um, the, some of the keys are super cheap. Uh, I would I'd definitely be getting the 310 key straight away and moving into the gold key spawns as, as soon as I could. So 205, 206, uh, East triple two or 226. You only need one of them. You don't need both. Um, and, and same with the 205 and 206. The 218, 221 or 222 keys, uh, you only need one of those three. So just get the cheapest one at the time. And then um, you've got the 220 key. Now 220 key you also need for a quest. So it's also one you want to get. Uh, early on if you want to add a little bit of extra time onto the run you can go to east 306 there is a dvl spawn gold chain spawns in there but i try and make these runs super quick uh if i am trying to just farm some money and if i just did this over and over again um like i said there was no uh red key card there there was no blue key card and none of the other keys spawned but if they did spawn that turns one of those runs easily into a 1 million plus run if not uh, you get a red key card you've just made yourself 20 million I think the key spawns are around the 1% mark, so 1 in 100 runs. I don't know if that means it's 1 in each of the spawns, 1% in each of the spawns, but um, the most people that farm these keys get them in about 100 runs. I know some people take two, three, four hundred 400 runs, other people do it in 50, and just by the general consensus of the community, I figured, I think it's around the 1%. I think the wiki guys data mined this and um, said that it was a 1%, but it's got a rare loop modifier on it, which uh, we're not really sure exactly what it means. So guys, I'm going to finish this one up here. I hope you liked it. I hope it's helpful. It's just a little cheeky run that if you want to do uh, during some of your downtime, chuck on a movie, get some money spare. Uh, it's something simple, very minimal risk. Taking a pistol, get that uh, extra bit of speed from running with a pistol. Uh, scab backpack to get that extra loot. And then um, to start running it. Hopefully you can make yourself some good money. So guys, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I'm going to put another one of these out for interchange and also labs. Um, I've been doing a lot of testing on these maps, including the shoreline one, to try and figure out what is the fastest way to make money on these maps, and uh, particularly for the guys that want to have zero risk. I do know this is probably going to be like adding to those pistlings, just running around, just not really taking much gear, but it's a part of the game, and if you don't enjoy it, you don't have to do it, and you can play the game however you see fit, but I know there's a lot of guys out there asking me, how do you make some money in Tarkov? If I want to do a couple of cheeky money runs, this is how I do it. So guys, to finish up, I'll see you next time. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never wash my feet. Now I'm recording this at prime time, Australian times, on a weekend on the most popular server. So um, previously I showed you how to avoid going on to a populated server, and I highly suggest doing that, but I wanted to show you that you can still do these runs. Just... Ugh, why?